Hi everyone, in this video today we are looking at this deck which is kind of weird looking but it is actually a deck for headphones, IEMs, uh, for the computer and uh, all of that sort, it, it is a deck but it only cost $11, actually less, it's between 10 and 11 you can find it on Amazon and the thing is that this is a genetic deck, it doesn't have like a real brand name, it's just, it just go by Geek, Geekai, something like that on, on Amazon. And it costs just $11. And the thing is that this deck is using an XMOS controller, an XUF208, and it also uses an ESS9018Q2C or M, something like that. Um, the thing is that it uses two really great components and at $11, you must be saying, is this real? Yes, it is. I just got it a few uh, weeks ago and it, uh, I'm going to open it to, to show you that it, in, it is in fact using uh, an XMOS controller and the ESS deck. It is not balanced, by the way, It's the uh, it has a 3.5mm uh, output, so it is not balanced by any way, but still you are getting really decent hardware and a really great sound for just about the fraction of the price that you're going to pay for um, a more high, uh, technically, not, I would not say it's high quality because um, most of this, this is proof that you can make a deck that's not expensive and still provide a great sound. Um, it is all plastic as you can see and I'm having some trouble opening it as you can see that also tend to have some issues when I first open it but now I'm getting it to open more so there we go it opened now um, you can see that on the back side there's no components at all it's just the electronic traces there and I did scratch it a little bit over here when I opened it the first time but well it didn't did any kind of damage this micro USB port here is actually to provide power to it in case you're using it with the phone or, or something so that it doesn't um, so that it doesn't waste the uh, it, it doesn't drain the battery from the phone and but the, the real port is this one it's a USB A port so uh, USB A port uh, it's a USB port actually no A or B it's an actually USB port so standard port um, it comes with this adapter here that uh, converts micro USB because it comes with the micro USB cable to the USB uh, actual port so you can connect it here and you can see it plugs so this also means that you can use this kind of adapters that converts USB-C to a USB standard USB port um, adapter so just plug it in and you can just use it now again I open it to show you the components that it's using and as you can see, it is in fact using an XMOS controller that you are seeing it here. It's an XMOS SCUF208. And it also uses a ESS deck here that you are seeing it. And now this is the word part where they decided to use a um, pink connector here, which is actually used on motherboards to connect the uh, microphones. I don't know why they decided to use this part, but again, it doesn't really matter because it's actually a, an audio jack. So as long as it's an audio jack 3.5, you're good. So that's what they did. They seem to be reusing these components or maybe that was the, the cheapest one. But overall, the motherboard look, um, motherboard, <laughs> technically it's a motherboard, but it's not a motherboard at all. It's a board. Um, it, I don't see any uh, crappy... Uh, stuff here it all looks high quality so um, again for $11 you are getting this board with the Xmas controller ESS DAC and the 3.5 output here so it's really great and then it has the crystals here and that kind of stuff so I mean it looks great to me yep and in terms of the sound if you're wondering usually ESS DAC provides an analytical sound and in this case I find the sound to be a little more warmer um, some DAX provides an analytical sound and some other provides a warmer sound so this one is actually in the warmer sound but also provides good details in the sound it doesn't it, it isn't actually too warm like you may find on some AKM DAX or Serious Logic DAX actually it is warm but it also provides a good detail in this sound so 
that's all I have to say on, on this uh, ship deck but again don't let the price confuse you you are getting a good um, deck here and it also go all the way to 32 bits and 384 uh, kilohertz so um, keep that in mind it's a USB audio 2 um, adapter so yeah right that basically concludes this video I'm going to let the board here basically that concludes this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did as i always say don't forget to like this video comment on it share it with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions as usual just let me know in the comments and i'm going to reply to you